The junglers in League of Legends are some of the most misunderstood players ever, and for good reason. Whenever your camera pans their way, they're doing the most questionable actions known to mankind. There is no getting around the fact that these people don't know what they are doing. The role has only been getting more baby-proofed over the years to compensate for such bad players. Junglers are handed smite by default, get told where to go and what to buy, they even get their own Pokemon. I gotta pay to get my own Pokemon. We got the zoomies! It doesn't matter how much easier the role gets, your jungler will find a way to mess it all up. They go around soaking up XP and gold, ruining wave states, and feeding kills. It never ends with these people. There we go, much better. The most frustrating aspect is that after inting your lane, they leave, so you're stuck dealing with the problem they created. Bad junglers wouldn't be so damaging if they only affected lanes, but junglers are needed for objectives. They either don't show up entirely or are dead. So you just watch from the sidelines as your dreams are taken away from you. You need your jungler here, and it's not for a champion's number advantage of 4 being greater than 3, it's because of this thing. So unless you have a Kirby ult to compensate, say bye bye to objectives. It doesn't even end there. Even when you're lucky enough to have your jungler present, you end up holding your breath that they smite properly. There's only so much a league player can take before they turn to the dark side. It honestly wouldn't be so bad if every jungler sucked. It's just that every single match is a jungle diff. Every player has an eventual realization that there is no escape. But not every game has a painful jungler. Sometimes you are blessed by Rito game. All the pieces fall together in perfect harmony. You're reminded of what fun is. You even get the beautiful Shelly locked in your sights. With her by your side, you'll be able to snowball the game to victory, pressing your advantage so you can... What? Shelly, no! Have you, or a loved one you know, been affected by Jungle Gap on the Rift? Well, we have the solution for you. Spam pinging. It won't improve your situation, but it'll make you feel better. Try it now, today. Not playing good is one thing, but strategically inting my ranked games, that's where I draw the line. You will face my wrath on their reportable behavior. Thanks, Riot. You've done it again. You know, I played some games of jungle in my life. They weren't pretty. I know jungling isn't an easy maneuver, but play better. You have a role with so many different ways to play. There are the ganking junglers, the reach level 6 junglers, and the I'll probably get banned from picking this junglers. Please note that perma farming isn't an acceptable playstyle. That's for the losers up top. Constant full jungle clears equals jungle gap. Junglers need to make an impact early. If all else fails, just show up for drake and gank lanes. It's the bare minimum requirement. As an ADC main, you should always gank bot lane. It's mathematically correct, while also setting up for dragon at the same time. Please. It's been so long. Despite how bad junglers are, the hate in the community isn't entirely their fault. The role is fundamentally flawed to be the most hated. The start of the match highlights this problem. Junglers decide who the victim is that has to leash. When you don't leash, you run the risk of tilting your jungler with a one-way ticket to playing weak side. So from the very get-go, you're on babysitting duty. I don't want this. I didn't queue support. Junglers are meant to help the three lanes, not be a nuisance. It's the only other role that impacts others like the way it does. Junglers are constantly roaming. Sure, other roles roam, but they're on a time limit. That minion wave won't collect itself. Even supports won't stay away from bot lane for too long because they gotta go back to babysitting. Junglers don't have any other obligations but help laners, so players are actively looking for assistance. When the other team gets assistance in a way you never got, who else is there to blame? When a laner feeds, it's bad, but others won't feel the effects until later. When a jungler does it, laners feel that instantly. It's game over. The truth is that league players suck. Whenever someone is put under a magnifying glass, their mistakes will show. And junglers get the biggest magnifying glass of them all. No one's panning their camera watching the exciting gameplay that is Kale Top. The light of my devotion will set the world aflame. Junglers are misunderstood players because they are often blamed for other people's shortcomings. Dying on repeat to a dual one-on-one -on -one has nothing to do with a jungler. Overextending with no vision isn't a jungler's fault, even if it really, really feels like it. We, as a league community, must rise up to defend our junglers. They must not be blamed for every little aspect. They are already a declining population, with little chance of reproducing. We must protect what we have. I'm not saying never flame, 
but only flame when well deserved. Only then will your jungler learn to properly play the game. 